The scene begins with Min Kaio arriving at the seashore, where Jaya is sobbing in his memory. But when she stands up, Min Kaio notices the same locket he gave to Aji 3. This makes him realize that the one he has been considering as Aji 3 is none other than Jaya. The cure for Min Kaio was to learn how to trust others. But seeing this, he feels that he's betrayed by the person he was closest to. Hence, his allergies start to reappear, and he falls to the ground. Poor Jaya is terrified but she can only sob helplessly. Shortly after, Dr. Hong and his assistant arrive and inject him with an antibiotic. Min Kaio is then rushed back home, where he is kept in intensive care. Jaya desperately wants to explain everything to him, but the doctors don't let her in. One day, Min Kaio's assistant, Jinbi, pays him a visit. As the two talk, Min Kaio orders him to file a lawsuit against Han's research group, the Santa Maria team, as well as Jaya for duping him. Jinbi warns that he may lose his position in the company, and that his allergy information may become public. However, Min Kaio does not change his mind. But to everyone's surprise, Jinbi forwards his resignation letter because Jaya is revealed to be his own sister. Following this, Jinbi goes to the Santa Maria lab and tells everyone to leave. On the other hand, Jaya prepares hygienic food for Min Kaio, wearing proper safety gear, and starts visiting his home on a daily basis. However, every day, Min Kaio throws away the food and has a cold response. Despite this, Jaya does not give up and tells him that she will be coming on a daily basis to see him. One night, Min Kaio is unable to stop thinking about her, so he walks out and stands in front of the fire with his butler. Min Kaio inquires whether he has also lied to him about something, to which the butler responds that there are no human beings who don't lie. The next day, Jaya is on her way to Min Kaio's place when a kid appears out of nowhere, causing her to have a minor accident and injure her hand. A few hours pass by and when she does not arrive, Min Kaio becomes restless. Despite not being able to arrive in the morning, Jaya arrives at Min Kaio's house in the evening. As usual, she serves the dish for him, and is about to leave when Min Kaio stops her. He wonders if she did everything just to gain a competitive advantage. Jaya says no and admits that she has a lot to tell him. However, Min Kaio, who is not interested in hearing anything, asks if she is happy that she has fooled and duped him. He then throws his glass in anger, which upon shattering, injures Jaya's hand. But despite the fact that her hands are bleeding, she quietly walks away with an apology. The next day, Min Kaio notices Jaya has left some comic books for him. After some time, Jaya's friend pays a visit to Min Kaio's place and tells him that he will soon lose all of the precious gifts of his life. She reveals that the Santa Maria team, who are currently staying at her restaurant, and Jaya will be flying to Australia. Upon hearing this, Min Kaio appears to be sad but he pretends to be unaffected. Later, Min Kaio drives to Jaya's friend's restaurant to see his Santa Maria team members. He sees them from afar and remembers Jaya's friend's words that he will be left with only memories. As he looks at them, one of the team members notices him and runs towards him, but Min Kaio ignores him and drives away. When he gets home, he turns on the television and learns that up to 70 stars are expected to fall in the next hour. However, he ignores it and walks inside to keep the umbrella. There, he notices another umbrella belonging to Aji 3. Out of curiosity, he searches the umbrella on the internet and finds out that it is also made by Jaya. This brings back memories of Jaya kissing him under the umbrella in the past. In the next scene, we see robot Aji 3, who is about to go to Min Kaio as he promised to show her the meteor shower. Following this, Min Kaio drives to Mount H. Wang Mi and waits for Jaya. After a while, she arrives and the two start talking. Min Kaio demands the truth from the beginning and Jaya reveals that the person who he thought to be Aji 3 is none other than herself. She explains that he spent months with a human, not a robot. Hearing this, Min Kaio is reminded of all the past memories he spent with Jaya, thinking she was a robot. This makes him feel dumb because he wonders how he could not distinguish between a human and a robot. He then inquires as to what else she lied about and Jaya responds that she did not lie about anything, but only stole some food and alcohol. After this, Min Kaio asks about her impressions of him when she first met him as a human. Jaya reveals that she thought of him as a bad guy because he didn't pay her the other half of the money. She also thought he was a psycho because he celebrated the birthday of his robot vacuum and babbled about his rank and other stuff. But after a certain point, she started to feel sorry for him and wished for his happiness. She was determined to do everything she could to make him happy. After this, Min Kaio asks her to sit closer to him and tells her to open her heart. Jaya reveals that her heart fluttered every morning on her way to his house. She reminds him of the time he told her she was his treasure 
and that he wanted her to stay with him forever. Hearing this, she felt as if she were being proposed to. She also recalls several happy memories from her past and claims how happy she used to be when she saw him smile. Min Kayo asks if she was scared at any point back then, to which she says yes. She reminds him of the time he said he hoped she would recognize him even if he changed. That's when she realized how desperately he meant those words. Jaya also tells him that she felt happy and excited when he stroked her head. She claims she didn't like it at first, but she grew accustomed to it and would miss it if he didn't do it. She then recalls the time he got drunk and wished she was human. At the time, she desperately wanted to tell him that she is not a robot. After hearing all of this, Min Kai wants to stroke her head gently but he remembers his allergy and backs off. When Jaya notices this, she puts on her sleeve head, takes his hand in hers and places it on her head. She then apologizes to him for concealing the truth from the beginning. She wanted to tell him the truth but she was afraid of triggering his allergy. Following this, he gets close to kiss her but again holds back. He then leaves her hand and thanks her for creating a beautiful memory that he will cherish for the rest of his life. According to Min Kayo, he will be able to live the rest of his life with those memories. He also decides to go back to where he belongs because he will be unable to touch anyone again. He claims that their time together is over and waves a final goodbye. But before he walks away, Jaya stops him, expressing that he is the one she has been waiting for and the one who has made her feel loved. She also admits that she needs him badly and confesses her love for him. Hearing this, Min Kayo approaches her and kisses her, creating a beautiful moment. The next morning, Min Kayu drives Jaya to a coffee shop and as he returns, he notices that his allergy is reappearing. But as soon as he sees Jaya in his car, he regains his normalcy. Happy, he drops Jaya home, hoping to see her soon. Following this, Min Kayu consults with his doctor, who claims that there is no such thing as full recovery in his case because the symptoms can vanish and reappear at any time. In the lab, the entire Santa Maria team is saddened to see Aji 3 go. It turns out that a rich and powerful guy named Martin has found out that they had scammed Min Kayu, so he has blackmailed them to give the robot up. We also get to know that he wants Aji 3 to be working as a weapon of mass destruction. When Min Kayu learns of Aji 3's dispatch, he rushes to the lab, but is a fraction late because Martin has already left with the robot. In the final scene, Martin goes to the safe where he has locked up Aji 3, but to his surprise, the robot is missing. Elsewhere, Aji 3 is seen walking across the street, trying to head back home but she doesn't seem to have information about the directions. Subscribe to see more videos like this, turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.